Hey guys, welcome to episode number 10. We are here back on Narshida again at the meeting coordinates where Terra Blood is supposedly teaming up with uh, some of his cohorts. Speak to. Aha, uh -huh, who are these guys? I remember you. You shot Brayden back on Huda. Oh, that guy. What the hell are you doing here? Doesn't matter. You saved us the trouble of hunting you down. Stand down, Sidon. A matter of honor has brought all of you here today, and it shall be settled as such. It's that guy. Commander, what's going on? You owe this hunter a debt of blood, Sidon. And I would like to see at least one of my pupils redeemed before I die. I guess these weren't your star pupils. Once, perhaps. Now they are cowards who embrace deceit and treachery. Arrow followed your codes, Commander. He stood tall in the last great hunt, and the others pulled him down like a pack of wild beasts. He learned from that, and this time he will take us to the top. Taro does this for his wounded pride alone. Why can't you see that? You two can kiss and make up on your own time. Insolent dog! No one speaks to us like that. Save your fury for the arena. I believe you will need it. A tongue blood duel will resolve this dispute. A duel to the death. Challenge Seddon. A true Mandalorian must accept. Um. Or you could kill all of them. Um. Uh, I'm not. Mm. See, what would she do here? I guess killing all of them would weaken would weaken blood a lot more, right? Um, do we want to kill blood that? Well, I guess we want to win the Great Hunt, so yeah, I guess we do. All right, game on then. Then I'd only get to kill one of them. I'd hate to miss out. You betrayed us for this animal, Commander. It's you who's no longer a true Mandalorian. Oh, jeez. You shot him. Didn't you see that coming. Pack of Cowards. We had Mika wasn't here. I'm sure she would have disapproved. And now we have to fit all of them. Great. Oh, there's another one, I guess. Nice shot. I'm guessing this works on an internal cooldown, so I probably shouldn't be using it right off the bat. But that's okay. Well, that settles that then. Talk to... Oh, he's not dead yet. It's fitting that I die here, surrounded by my failures. Taro mustn't win the great hunt. Don't let his example lead others down the easy path. Keep honor alive among my people. Show them that the old traditions, the code of the warrior, is worthy of defending. I'll stop, Taro. The rest is up to the Mandalorians. You walk a treacherous path, Hunter. Unless you believe in something, you will become an empty shell. Or a rabid dog. In the end, all you have is your dignity. Must be a real burden, having faith in people. <laughs> all this emotion is making me thirsty. Come on, let's find a place with shiny lights and an open bar. I like her look. I think he uh, might have touched something inside of her. What does she believe in? What is her code? Um, reflex. Hey, level 36. Oh, I accepted a reward without the XP boost. Whoops, I will. Alright, back to our ship then to use the hollow terminal. And, uh... Huh, maybe... maybe we, does the Great Hunt begin now? Like, Well, that was the Great Hunt, I guess. But how many... How many of us are left, exactly? Like, this is the Great Hunt, it's ongoing. Is Chapter 3 going to be even more planets? Because we've done all the planets now. I am curious to see what happens next. Are they going to drag this out through Chapter 2? Or are we going to go face Terra once and for all? We should probably get back to Krista now that we don't have to worry about Terra's cronies messing up the final round. Seddon's cost us too much time already. Well, looky here. I got myself a hunter who's reached the last leg of the great hunt. 
Ain't I just a lucky gal? How about something serious for your final mark? You ready for this, sugar? You're hunting Jedi Master Kelly and Jaro, the Mandalorian killer himself. Interesting. Is that it? I've wasted at least ten Mandalorians just getting here. Hate to burst your bubble, hun, but you got some catching up to do. At the Battle of Coruscant, Jaro single-handedly gave over a hundred Mandalorian soldiers the big push. Worthy as he's on board the Republic cruiser Aurora, so that's where you're headed next. You gotta take out Jaro and the Aurora to finish this hunt. The crew won't just let me board. Getting to your target's part of the challenge, sugar. We do got a plan for that little old battle cruiser, though. Once you're aboard the Aurora, you'll need to blast her hyperdrive regulator in the engine room. And that gizmo protects the ship from the powerful forces of hyperspace. Then head to the bridge and set the ship to jump into hyperspace on a timer. When it does, boom, no more ship. Couldn't someone just abort the jump? Not if you blast the bridge controls after you set the ship to jump. Now that's all I ought to tell you. But I wrangled some, well, confidential information. One other hunter made it to the final round, and he's <laughs> already headed to the Aurora. Care to guess who? Tarot blood. That slimy son of a... He's gotten away with Braden's murder way too long. He needs to pay. This saves us the trouble of hunting Tarot down. Okay, Tarot blood deserves a rather gruesome end. I get that. But are we really going to fight a Jedi Master? Jedi are all talk. No, I'm all talk. Jedi Masters are something else entirely. Don't listen to him. I'm with you all the way. I'll transmit the Aurora's coordinates. Best of luck. I'm really enjoying this, kind of playing the game story-wise again. It actually feels like I'm getting like a little a little crew of my own. Just like in a, another Bioware game. Alright. But I'm still looking forward to get back to playing, but... For now, this is pretty fun. So, that explains it then. To the Aurora we go. And that's where Chapter 1 shall end. Where is it? Oh. Deep in the unknown regions, it seems. There she is. Making the final approach on the Aurora's coordinates. ETA, two minutes. Everyone up front. All three of us. And Tubi. There she is, the Aurora. Wow, pretty impressive. Don't think they detected us yet. Let's see what I can pick up on their comms. Oh boy, the ship's on alert. They've captured an intruder. They're calling it an Imperial assassination attempt on the Jedi Master. Hmm. Looks like there was a reason Blood always got others to do his dirty work. Makes you wonder how he got this. What the? We've been caught in a tractor beam. Attention unidentified vessel. This is the Republic cruiser Aurora. You are in a restricted zone. Prepare to be brought aboard for a full inspection. If you offer any resistance, we will open fire. Well, what now? Well, at least we know how we're getting on the ship. Load up. We're coming out of this ship blasting. How did I know you were going to say that? <laughs> Okay, Taro, we're coming for you. You tell him, Mako. Speak to Captain Offery. Guess he's on board the main ship. Each companion has a unique role. Not for long, though. Which is a good change, I approve. Soon they'll all be healers, DPS, and tanks, depending on what you select. Which will be nice, because like right now I have to use the one guy for gear, but I wish he was a healer. Gult. Alright. Where's our welcome committee? Halt! You are under arrest. Lay down your weapons. The captain comes in person. You better have a good reason for this. Conspiracy to commit an act of terrorism against the Republic. We captured your accomplice, one Taro Blood, who implicated you when he confessed under Master Jaro's questioning. You've made a mistake. Let's let the Jedi sort it out. So you can attempt your assassination? How stupid do you think I am? 
Worth a shot. To join your friend in the brig. You can plea your case when we ship you to Coruscant to stand trial. This is your last warning. Drop your weapons and surrender, or we will open fire. Sorry, I want my blaster handy when I see Taro. You were warned. Open fire. <laughs> like how all three choices are kind of the same thing, but you get lifetime points for this one. Does that make sense? All right, let's take care of those guys. Wasn't too hard. All right. Now we got to get there before Terra does. The great hunt is on. I would check that area over there for loot, but <laughs> this is an MMO, so there's not going to be any. Not anything worthwhile at any rate. Besides, time is of the essence. I, I think that's probably a medical bay over there. That's what they usually have in zones like these. Hangar bay. Quick hide. No, it's a dead end. Damn it. Foiled again. Hey, what is that? Got an achievement there. Cars, I'm good. Cautious killer. To feed 100 enemies with gold as your companion. Very cool. I'm not a big fan of achievement points for the simple reason that they weren't inclu included at launch. Which is when I did a lot of playing. Obviously, I leveled a decent amount of my characters before the achievement system was added. So I would obviously have a lot more points if they had added it launch. And since they didn't, that kind of makes it completely useless to me, because half of the things I achieved don't actually count. So I, I know a lot of people who are really into the whole achievement thing and gathering points, which is cool. That's their thing. Whatever keeps them having fun and playing. But as for me, I'd rather... There are plenty of other great games out there I really want to start playing to uh, just go around leveling extra characters just to get achievements. <laughs> Have a magic number of internet points. Now prestige! That I used to be pretty competitive with. I was like one of the one of the highest, I don't think not quite the highest on our old server. But um, I'm obviously not the highest here because there's a lot more people here and some of them are really intent on prestige, yeah. I have 90.7 or 181 once you have the bonus, but I've seen people with like 210 prestige, which is just insane. I didn't realize there were that many there were that many decorations in the game, but apparently there are. There is an achievement for getting a. Uh, oh, that was cool. One shot punch. Sneak over here. For getting 100 points of personal prestige, so 200 with the bonus. I'd like to get that at some point. Even though I don't care about achievements, just for to say I have 100,000 prestige. After that, I might stop collecting, though, at least until I decide to decorate another stronghold. Which may or may not happen. Depends what they release, really. I want to get carbonized. That I probably don't get to later, but that is one of the best abilities in the game. I should probably stop and heal now. We should buy some Pepper Bantha steaks so they can heal us out of combat. Uh, I was trying to get him close to me before my proc wore off, but no such luck, it seems. <laughs> Should have put a bleed on him. Alright, that's enough health back. You do regen a little bit when you're out of combat, but not a lot. It's very slow. That's right, we have to touch on the hyperdrive too. Let's do this. That's another downside of playing an MMO is the boss fights aren't going to be as cool. Because they all use more or less the same mechanics. There are a couple cool boss fights in the single player campaigns. But, um, but they're few and far between. And even then they're not nearly as good as the ones in Operations. Operations are whereby we really put their time and effort, which is exactly what I would like them to do, so I'm not complaining. Um, ah, you could attach this to your jetpack to allow you to reach the engineer. Obtain the tubing, which is over, over here. 
They're gonna see me, aren't they? Yep. Burn them all. All right. And then we have to get whatever this thing is over here. And then I guess you can piece together a contraption to reach the engineer. That's pretty cool. There's the ramjet upgrade. Should probably heal up for this fight. Could be a tough one. Looks like his guards are both uh, strong enemies. What, what, is that what it's called? Strongs when they're silver like that? Yeah, strong. All right, how do we do this? Aha. Uh -huh. Here we go. Um, that didn't really work. Oh. All right. Ha, I popped a drilling rush there. <laughs> Look at all those ticks. When they say rapidly heals you, they mean it. Ah, oh, so I thought I was about to die there. At least they actually coded that correctly. What's down here? Another one? Oh, disabled the thermal. Okay. So we jump down now, or what? How does that work? Yeah, I guess so. Hello, friends. Down you go. Ah, they saw me. Blow them up. One more over here. He's a vanguard by the looks of it. <laughs> and that's number two. Now they start the alarms. About time. I assume even though the ship is going to be well, with the bridge anyway to set the course, that's right. And hopefully we get to run into both the Jai Master and Terra along the way, because looking forward to killing them. We killed a Sith, but that was only like a Sith Apprentice or like a a normal Sith, a Sith Knight or whatever. It wasn't a full-on Sith Master. It'll be cool to compare ourselves against the Jedi. Hopefully, uh... Talon is actually a little hard though, because kind of anticlimactic. He was just a real pushover after all this. It makes sense with his character, but I mean, they did say he was the best Mandalorian in the last one, and he only lost because the others ganged up on him. So we'll see. It doesn't really make a lot of sense though, because maybe I don't know. Maybe he would. Because like, how do you? Everyone else I fought has ended up dead. It's part of the game is you kill them all to advance. So I'm not sure how he lost but survived. Not sure Byra really thought that one through. <laughs> Alright. To the bridge! This is where it is. Sometimes with people who run like that, if you run fast enough, you can run right on through them. Oh, this is bad. I don't have any cooldowns up. And I just aggro two mobs at once. Alright, wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I almost will just kill eight more people just to get that extra XP, but it's not really worth it. Actually, we might kill. Oh, alright. <laughs> And there are five of them here. Yeah, perfect. And with these two, that should be... Watch my XP soar. Or not. I should have saved that cooldown, actually. I love how they AoE too when I'm the only one attacking them. Not the brightest bulbs in the pack. Yeah, it's a two minute cooldown. <laughs> Jeez. Increases damage charge by 20. It's a pretty good cooldown, though. 25% for 15 seconds, that's actually really good. No wonder it's on such a long cooldown. I thought it was like a little like defense screen type deal, like a 
Smuggler's get. I guess not. Oh, we're in the brig. Is that... There's Tarot. Oh, this is interesting. Not the way I thought we'd meet so, Arch Nemesis. You're still alive, huh? You might be worth killing after all. Hurry up and let me out of here so we can settle this once and for all. Unless facing me as an equal frightens you. You're not my equal. You failed. So, you're a coward, is that it? Come on, surprise me. Open the door and face me like a warrior. Where's the fun in that? I want to hear you beg. <sighs> Figures, you are a lowlife. Fine, I'm begging you. I can't die like this. Please! Revenge and humiliation go well together. I say let him out. Besides, how could you ignore a face like that? Listen to your friend. Let me out of this cage. So you get a choice. That's interesting. You can just say nah. Wait, they're all light side? Oh. Oh, letting him out is the dark side choice. So the, giving him what he wants is dark side. That doesn't really make a lot of sense. Um, he's going to die on the ship anyway. I'd much rather kill him by my own hand. Give you what you want. Besides, now that's how you I win the hunt. Now I get my gear. Suit up and we finish this. Right here, right now. Or you could just shoot him where he is. Take your time. These are the last moments of your life. We'll see, won't we? You idiot. No real hunter would have given up his advantage and allowed a dangerous enemy to arm himself. If you were a dangerous enemy, that might be true. <laughs> Ouch. Killing you is going to feel so damn good. My thoughts exactly, buddy. Alright, let's do this. Cool down stuff. Yeah, somebody who talks such a big game that wasn't so bad. That's not fair. I was going to do great things. The galaxy was going to remember my name. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. I can't believe you two are in the same business. Do us all a favor and put him out of his misery. That's letting him off easy. Anything to get him to shut up. Kind of wish Mako was here. I should have brought her. Fair. Oh, uh, she would like to have seen that. Oh well. Especially because you can change your your uh, companion anywhere in this game. Really should have thought of that. What are those guys doing? They're like <laughs> running in from another door. Quick before she sees us. Did he there? I love how the chip that is really cool. And there are only a few chess pieces that actually do that. There's also a, a, a jetpack mount, which would be really cool. But it's really expensive, and I'm not going to spend 10 million on a tune I'm not going to use that often. If it was my main or something, yeah, maybe. But I did spend a decent amount on, <laughs> on uh, this guy. But I really like this fan of Ranicus. Jetpack, I'm not too fond of it. Only really makes sense on like a bounty hunter character like this one. Maybe a trooper, but I play a lot of consulars and doesn't make as much sense on them. Or a gunslinger, which I also play a lot. Or inquisitors, or you get the idea. Trying to win taking the minimum amount of damage, that way, uh... I don't have to heal as much between fights. Where's the Jedi Master? Uh... Don't you hate that when you're trying to, uh... Avoid two groups, and because you're so close, you end up... Getting both. Let's taunt him so he's not with my companion there. Wait until the shield goes away. Uh, companion's health low. Unity. Yeah, we're gonna pop this too, just so I don't die. Just you left. 
All right. We still have a heroic movement. Make sure he gets healed too. If you just your companion is hurt and you're not a quick way to heal them, just dismiss them and bring them back. But that only really works if you have a companion that takes aggro a lot. Mine normally does not. You've caused There's quite a bit of trouble, but I'm afraid it's over now. I'll ask you to drop your weapons and surrender. An interesting looking Jedi. Nice little mustache and goatee there. So, has that ever worked? Some people have sense. Others must be persuaded. You will drop your weapons and surrender to me. I don't think we fit into the category of weak-minded. You will realize what a complete idiot you are. Master? Be and still, Padawan. I will take care of this. This bounty hunter has a much stronger will than the other one. Listen, I know the Mandalorians want me dead, but the Battle of Coruscant was years ago. Revenge profits no one. Not my concern. I implore you not to throw your life away. Abandon this hunt. Yeah, you have to kill him. Well, yeah, that's interesting. You have to kill him no matter what, but you can say, sorry, it's my job. I'm going to go with that one, because, yeah, it's it's nothing personal. It's just business to her. You have your codes. I have mine. Always fulfill a contract. Yep. Bendis, your lightsaber. I get to face his Padawan, too. That's cool. Let's hard stun him. I think I knock him cross-eyed. Padawan out first. She should Yep, that wasn't too... Yeah, I'm break that stun. We'll have a couple cooldowns back in a second. Definitely a much tougher fight than Terra. I don't know why I'm moving so much. It's just cooler that way. Well, he was a little tougher, but... Oh, and the apprentice is alive. She is not my target, though, so I have no problem letting her live. If she can get off the ship in time, at least. Master! What are you waiting for, bounty hunter? Kill me, just like you've killed my master. Go on. Interesting choice. You weren't part of the deal. Run for an escape pod. No one paid now you to kill me, so you're not interested. Is that it? Pretty much. again, bounty hunter. I swear it. Oh, I really hope we do. Uh, I bet we kids, will. kids, so impressionable. You think letting her go was a good idea? There was no reason to kill her. Want to take bets on that? We should set the cruiser to jump into hyperspace and deactivate the tractor beam before anyone else decides to show up. And don't forget to blast the control panel. Then we run. So he's another companion that uses a sniper rifle. There are only a few in the game. Him, Zenith, and HK, I think. And an actual sniper, of course. All right. Timer. Glad she knows how to use the controls of the Republic ships. A useful skill to have in these situations. There we go. And now I'm getting stuck. Do we have to go all the way back there? At least there's no more. Oh. They're going to make us fight our way out. Seriously? Who are we shooting today? That's so anticlimactic to have to fight our way out. You guys don't want to like, run for your lives, seriously? I have no qualm with you. You're going to stand here and fight me and die instead? Maybe slow me down to the point where I die too? Oh, I guess we can go down this way. So that's not so good though. Oh, your AoE can also trigger that. Very nice. Get the hell off of the ship before it blows up, or before it jumps to hyperspace and gets torn to shreds. It's a cool idea too, it's not just plant bombs and then blow up the ship, it's like... It's a little more ingenious way to destroy it. it must be the apprentice escaping maybe, or is that thing going to fire at us now? Oh, it didn't quite make it. It's cool they decided to animate that though. Nice little touch. Alright, where are we going? This way? No. Oh, I see. We're back here. Yeah. I gotcha. 
see why can't we mount here it's a wide open area how you'd actually get your mount over here i don't really know but. it'd be cool if there was like an actual timer you had to beat to get out of this ship I'm coming i'm coming where the mission would restart that would probably be a little difficult to program, though, at least in the time constraints they had. All right. Mission accomplished. Terror Blood is dead, as is our target. I'll use the intercom, rather. Where's the intercom over here? There she is. You did it! I knew you would! You're amazing! It was pretty impressive work, and believe me, I know impressive. You're my hero. You know that, right? Oh. I better start planning my public appearances. Leave the booking to me. Gotta make sure you hit all the sleazy spots in the galaxy. For sure. Let me see that list when you're done. I'm sure I have a few to add. Raiden would have been so proud. So would Sue. You're who they were talking about when they spoke of great hunters. It has been quite a ride. It hasn't all been fun, but this feels pretty good. And trust me, the celebration's just starting. We should return to the Mandalorian Enclave on German Koss to officially inform the Huntmaster of your victory. There'll be some sort of ceremony. Mandalorians are big on that. I'm sending them the news right now. All right, sounds good. We're going to save that until I uh, pop my next XP boost. So yeah, that's going to be the end of this episode. When we come back, we'll head to the Mandalorian Enclave and then officially bring Chapter 1 to a close. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in a bit.